to our footwork series. This one we're covering appel and crossover. In the appel, we're just tapping the, the floor with our toe, just like that. We lift up our foot, tap the floor with our toe. Make sure you lift up the foot. You don't want to bring your foot back. That would be incorrect. Your foot's going to stay where it is. Make sure you shift a little bit of body weight. That way you can pick up your foot and not have to slam it down. You don't want to keep your heel on the ground and tap your toe. All right, you're actually lifting up the foot off the ground, tapping with just the toe and setting it back down. You can add an appel with an advance. What this does, it just breaks the rhythm and the timing of your advance. So if your opponent knows how fast it takes you to go forward, break it up, add an appel. You can do the same thing with a lunge. Again, it just breaks up the timing of your lunge. If your opponent knows how fast it takes for you to get to them with a lunge, you break it up with an appel. That one you saw me put my foot back, that would be incorrect. You don't want to bring your foot back uh, for the appel. All right, keep your foot where it is, tap, extend, and lunge. Sometimes I just practice going back and forth. You'll see me advance, retreat, appel, advance, uh, just to break up the timing. Sometimes you'll see me in a, in a line at a cashier just going back and forth doing, you know, advance, retreat, and adding the appels there. So that's the appel. And a crossover. The crossover is one of those few movements where you move your back foot forward first when you're going forward. And that's just crossover. All you're doing is walking forward. The way I do it, you'll see my back foot actually change where it's facing forward and then it'll pivot again so it's uh, 90 degrees for my foot. You don't want to change the body position. So your, your front shoulder is always going to be in front. You don't want to stand up when you cross over. It's like you're a cat, you're, you're hunting something, you're going to stay low to the ground. Don't give them something to see. Make sure you do actually cross your feet. Some people just don't cross their feet. I don't know why. That's, uh, a, a, I'm doing a crossover, but I step forward with my front foot first. So a crossover is just two steps. One, two. Not front foot one, back foot two, and then front foot again, three. That's what I call the ninja crossover, not an official term, it's just uh, what I differentiate uh, the, the two crossovers. Some people twist their feet. Uh, we're doing a crossover backward now. I guess if you watch my back foot, you'll see me pivot it, and then I'll go back to the on-guard position. So the crossover, you walk, and then right back to the on-guard position. So there's a crossover forward, that's the way I like to do it. I pivot my foot. There's that ninja crossover. There is no right or wrong. Ninja crossover is not an official term. You see me put pivot that foot for the crossover back. But my shoulders stay level. They never go up or down. They don't twist. So that's the appel and the crossover.